Top 10 favourite New Doctor stories. What's your favourite first story for a New Doctor? It's a perennial question with Doctor Who fans, and we all have different answers. So now I'm going to list my 10 favourite New Doctor stories. 10. The TV movie. Now, perhaps favourite is not the most appropriate word for this video. I don't really like the TV movie, I have to be honest. It wastes Sylvester McCoy. It's got a very new Who pilot quality to it. Some people think that's a good thing. As somebody who vastly prefers the classic series to the new series, I don't agree with that. Paul McGann is okay, though far from the, oh my god, best Doctor ever, that he got even at the time, which frankly I find thoroughly bizarre. Eric Roberts is amusing enough, camping it up as the master. And you know, the production values aren't that impressive. It looks like a mid-budget, mid-90s Canadian TV movie. It's really not that impressive in the cold light of day, and let's be fair to it, the story is pretty much confused, incoherent bollocks. Ouch. Uh, nine. The Christmas Invasion. I know a lot, lots of people love The Christmas Invasion. I'm not a big fan. I mean, I don't think it's as smack me over the head bad as the TV movie, but I don't think it's that great either. Um... Tenant's okay in what we get to see of him. There's just something about the Christmas invasion that always leaves me feeling a bit funny because it always it always seems to me to be like really different than any kind of story that you that you'd see in classic Who. It feels very kind of modern movie blockbuster kind of thing, and honestly, that's not what I watch Doctor Who for. Call me an old fuddy-duddy. Eight. Rose. Now, I don't think time has been particularly kind to Rose. To be honest, I find it fairly unwatchable these days. But I did love it on first transmission. Granted, you know, most of that was probably just heady euphoria from having the show back on air. And as episode one of a new series, not a one-off fly by night like the TV movie you know and at the time I, I was reasonably impressed with Eccleston and, and Piper I'm not a big fan of the whole thing now because it's plot is paper thin I mean let's face it it's a paper thin rip off of a certain other story that I'm going to mention later on seven the twin dilemma Everyone hates the Twin Dilemma. It's the worst story ever, despite New Who having done, I don't know, at least three dozen stories that are infinitely worse than the Twin Dilemma. I find the Twin Dilemma reasonably amusing. Um, it's not great, but Colin is very funny in it. It's watchable, I mean. Six, an unearthly child. Now you could argue and argue and argue as to whether or not it really counts as a new Doctor story, given that William Hartnell is the first Doctor, the very, very first Doctor. But I'm counting it anyway, because I'm not freaking well leaving him out. Uh, the first episode is an absolute blinder, of course. Brilliant introduction to the series. The caveman stuff is a little bit... But, you know, it's atmospheric enough, and the regulars particularly William Hartnell, William Russell, and Jacqueline Hill, carry the thing quite admirably. Six, Robot. I'm not the biggest fan of Robot. It's okay. Tom Baker is really good in it, even if he's not quite the Tom Baker we would come to know, but he's clearly, you know, he's got bags of charisma and presence even if he is clearly still trying to find his feet and at this point trying very hard to differentiate himself from Perthry. The plot is fairly, you know, simplistic stuff. I don't mind it for the most part, though it does get rather silly in the last episode when the robot 
becomes a giant for no apparent reason. I don't know. Five. Castra Valva. I quite like Castra Valva. Um, I did go off it for a time, though last time I saw it, I really enjoyed it again. It's got that weird Christopher H. Bidmead pacing thing where the story doesn't actually start till part three, which is a bit peculiar. But it's got a lot to like about it. The, the ideas in it are very interesting for a change from him. Uh, and the episode one cliffhanger is just, you know, hilariously camp. Farewell, my friends. Farewell forever. Four. Deep breath. I really like Deep Breath. I'm not the biggest fan of the Capaldi era, as I'm sure you're all well aware. But I really think that, that first episode really sets itself up very impressively. I've said before that I think it's a shame we didn't get more of Capaldi in the Victorian era. Because I actually think he suited that more than Smithy did. But this is a really impressive first episode. Love the atmosphere, love the, the steampunk stuff. Capaldi gets off to a great start. The Paternoster gang are always amusing. And it's got it's, it's, you know, it's actually pretty dark at points. I like it. Three. The eleventh hour. Say what you will about Stephen Moffat, the guy knew how to introduce a new lead. The eleventh hour jettisons the Davies era entirely, and within ten minutes, who misses it? Well, I don't. Um Matt Smith, instantly magnetic, instantly the Doctor, more than his two, arguably three, predecessors ever were. Karen Gillan as Amy, best companion since Ace, best companion of New Who, 100%. And just a really fun, really entertaining story to start off a new Doctor. Love it. Two, Power of the Daleks. Now this one has gone up in my estimation considerably. Obviously for a long time it didn't even exist in any form other than telesnaps and audio, neither of which is particularly my forte. Um, I did kind of watch like two and a half episodes a few years back, well it must be five years, six years back now, of like a talking telesnaps thing that someone did on YouTube, though they never finished it. And I actually quite liked that, it seemed really atmospheric. And then we got the, the first animation in, in late 2016, and it you know, sent me to sleep a little bit. But then I got the special edition. As I said in the 2021 overview, I got the special edition late-ish, mid-ish last year. And I think the special edition animation is way better than the original. And I really loved it. I was I sat absolutely enraptured for the whole two and a half hours. Brilliant stuff, brilliant start for a new Doctor. And I mean, you know, the first time this had happened, the first time we had a, a new Doctor, really. And there's just a great, atmospheric, gripping story. One. I don't think many people would be surprised by this. Especially given that Davies shamelessly ripped it off for the start of the new series later on. Number one, my favourite new Doctor story is Spearhead from Space. That is how you launch a new era and a new Doctor. In colour for the first time, brand new Doctor, brand new cast, apart from a guy who'd been a guest star for a couple of stories and is now one of the series' mainstays. I love it. Pertwee's fantastic from the off. Nicholas Kirtney as the Brig. What an absolute iconic legend. Liz is pretty hilarious here as well. Sarcasm personified. And the story, I mean, it's Bob Holmes. It's an absolutely beautiful, perfect script. Wonderful direction. The fact that it's all shot on film just makes it look so amazing, especially on Blu-ray. Just an absolute cracker of a tale, and by far my favourite New Doctor story. <laughs>